Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to week 12. We're going to talk about health literacy and communication. So it's another one of those weeks where the chapters flipped around a little bit. Um, when I was doing the lecture, it was chapter 9 in version 1, now it's chapter 7. So uh, as I recorded it, I had to make some changes there. So just be aware, it's chapter 7. We're going to go over chapter 7, part 2. Uh, so I've already done a little bit of chapter 7, but there's some extra information I wanted to include especially because we were talking about health literacy. So be sure to watch the TED Talk. I listed that first because I think you're going to get the most out of that. Just some confusion surrounding healthcare communication. How does your provider communicate with you? Does he use a lot of acronyms and terms that you don't understand? That's what we're going to talk about in health literacy and health communication and how we can help our patients better understand the message we're trying to send them in regards to their care. So take a look at that when you get a chance. Of course, the lecture is there. Uh, I'm going to upload the Chapter 7 PowerPoint again. I'm sure you're uh, aware of that uh, if you need it because it was in a prior chapter. But take a look at that if you get a chance. Uh, and it's not uploaded now, so I'll fix that here in a bit. Uh, so great links to uh, Health Literacy, a critical concept in public health. The CDC's link to Health Literacy is also located here. So there's some great information there. Make sure you get your discussion board 200 words minimum done by 1023 in the day and your reply done by 1027. That's the only homework you have this week. A little bit of a low-key week, but uh, I'm hopeful that you'll enjoy the content and you'll get a lot out of it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Appreciate all your efforts so far, and let me know if you need anything. Thanks so much.